Hey everybody, it's Amanda Freitag. Welcome to Jersey Fresh Four Ways. Today we're gonna to be working with Jersey Fresh Peaches. I'm gonna make a grilled peach with ice cream and pomegranate molasses. So get your really ripe peach, and I'm just cutting around that, that pit, twisting it open. I'm just gonna cut the pit out. You're gonna take that cut side of the peach, just dip it in a little bit of vegetable oil, and you're gonna go onto your hot grill. So I'm gonna put it on, you wanna hear that sizzle, and don't touch it, and then we're gonna turn those a quarter turn to get those beautiful, beautiful grill marks. We're gonna wait for those to grill, and then we're going in the bowl. Quarter turn. You can make your own ice cream, or obviously store-bought is delicious. Give it a quick turn. And then, what I wanna talk about is this pomegranate molasses. If you've never had it, I highly recommend going to a gourmet market and finding it. I'm gonna add these to the bowl. I like to eat an entire peach. And you want that ice cream to just melt over the top. I'm gonna give two scoops. And then drizzle. This is grilled Jersey peaches, vanilla ice cream, pomegranate molasses. Oh. Mm. I'm gonna make a delicious peach, prosciutto, and Parmesan salad. Um, using these beautiful Jersey Fresh peaches, they're super ripe. Take your knife and cut around what I call the horizon. You can just twist and then they open. And then for the salad, I'm just gonna cut them into wedges as if you were making a tomato salad with wedges, same way. I'm going with a super simple vinaigrette fresh lemon juice and olive oil. Lemon and olive oil with arugula is an outstanding combination. A little bit of kosher salt, some black pepper. Peaches are gonna go right into the bowl with arugula because I wanna dress everything. Use your best tool, your hands, to mix everything. You don't wanna really overwork those greens because you want them to stay crispy, crunchy, light, and airy. You wanna show off these beautiful Jersey fresh peaches, and there's many different varieties. You can get yellow, white, or even donut peaches. If you've ever seen them, they look like little baby donuts. So then I'm gonna just drape the prosciutto over any way you like, get creative. Some shaved parm, and then a little more drizzle of vinaigrette. You have peppery arugula, sweet, juicy, Jersey fresh peaches, salty prosciutto, creamy Parmesan, and that's our salad. We're gonna make a peach sangria. This is a summer cooler that you're gonna die for. You can also use nectarines along with your peaches. Peaches and nectarines are in season between July into September. Get your favorite Jersey wine, white wine, and put it all together. That's it. I'm gonna put in the peaches, which are just so juicy. Some limes. If you wanna use orange, you can as well. Some cherries. Just the cherries are gonna give off a little bit of color to color the sangria. And of course, the nectarines. Now, let's put some mint in there. You can even put some basil. And we're gonna pour the wine over. Give it a little stir, muddle that mint. It's already starting to macerate. We're gonna let this sit for an hour up to overnight, as long as you want. Let it chill and we'll be back. If you wanna pump up the peach flavor a little bit, you can add some peach liqueur or peach schnapps. We're gonna make this nice and bubbly. A little bit of sparkling wine. You can use champagne, prosecco, whatever you like and let's just pour that over. Give it a quick little stir, and in the glasses it goes. And don't forget to grab some fruit. 
because that's the best part. Yeah. Garnish it with a little bit more mint. You can put it over ice if you like. And that's it. Cheers. August is National Peach Month. So get your peaches, make your jam, and then turn it into whatever you want. Today, I'm gonna turn it into a peach jam toast with ricotta and lemon thyme honey. So when you make peach jam, you have to peel the peaches. And this is a really simple technique. I just make an X in both sides, get it into some boiling water, doesn't take much, maybe 20 seconds, right? I have an ice bath ready, which just is ice and water. So as soon as this peach swims around in that boiling water, then we just plunge it into that ice bath, make sure it chills, and basically we're just shocking the skin off. See, it's just coming off already. That's amazing, look how easy that is. And the skin just comes off so easily. And then just cut the peaches off the pit. If you could smell what I'm smelling right now, you would die for this. So I'm actually gonna adjust the sugar. In this recipe, I would take the sugar down, especially these Jersey Fresh peaches are so sweet when they're in season. Maybe, maybe, maybe half cup to three quarters. And then I'm gonna put in that fresh ginger. I'm gonna put in some lemon juice. You could put lemon zest. But I really want a little bit of acid in there to balance that sweetness. And then I'm just gonna cook it down until it starts to get jam-like texture. I have some beautiful Jersey honey here. Honey is one of my favorite things to get at the market. I have lemon thyme because I love that lemon flavor with the peaches and the ginger. Just bring it to a boil, steep it like tea, and then set it aside, and it will infuse the flavor. I have my toast already here. It's just a sourdough bread that I've done pretty thick pieces. If you put this on the brunch table, you're really gonna impress your guests. So I'm putting some olive oil, a little bit of salt, some black pepper. I'm really seasoning the ricotta. I want that to have its own flavor. I don't want it to be bland. So I have some jam that's already ready. Okay, so let's just assemble. Be generous because the ricotta, if you put it on in a generous sort of free-form style, the jam will just fall into those nooks and crannies. Generous dollops of the jam. Oh my God, look how beautiful that is. We're gonna drizzle over our honey. Give it a drizzle. Great with the bread, great with the ricotta. And then I'm gonna go with a little black pepper. Drizzle olive oil. And that's it, you could take some lemon thyme and garnish with it. I'm in love with this. Jersey Fresh peaches on ricotta toast. There are so many ways to use Jersey Fresh peaches and to learn more, go to findjerseyfresh.com slash chefamandafreitag.